Hello everybody, welcome to day three of the time challenge. I call it time challenge for short, really is the reprioritize your time and replace your salary challenge. And if you're listening on the podcast, you just landed on day three, which means that you could go back to day one by going to inacopany.com slash ct20. That's going to be the first day of the challenge. So if you just landed here, you can go back to episode number 20 and that's the beginning of the five day challenge. So in this challenge, what we do is we get you to find pockets of time so that you can actually do what you are meant to do and what you really want to do. And so today, day three is all about mind food because it's the stuff that it's a kind of time that we don't realize we actually have so this particular challenge is for those of you who work full-time who have a full life outside of work and they come home at the end of the day and they're exhausted and just the thought of starting a business on the side or just the thought of uh, focusing on your side projects on the side it's it's overwhelming it's like when are you gonna do it you wake up you get the kids ready for school or you, you know, get ready for work in the morning. You go straight to work. You work all day. You commute. You come home. You make dinner for everybody. By the time you finish cleaning the kitchen, by the time you're done with everything, it's nine o'clock and you're exhausted and you're like, I'm just going to sit here and watch Rachel Maddow show. She's not paying me for this advertisement. But like, so with that kind of day, you might look at me and be like, Ina, you're crazy if you think I have time. I seriously have no time. This challenge is for you because guess what? I am opening up your world. I'm opening up your eyes to the fact that there is time there. You just didn't realize it before. So on day one, we started tracking our time. So um, I would love to hear how that is going for everybody. So just go to the Facebook group, use the hashtag time and tell me how the tracking is going. Have you realized anything you didn't know was there before? So we started tracking our time and the purpose is for you to know where your free time pockets are that you didn't realize were there before. And how do you know that there are free time pockets? Because hindsight is 2020, right? Like when I look at my day in hindsight, I'm like, well, that was a really packed day. I didn't have any free time. But if you're tracking your time like every hour, right? If you find yourself like, oh, I actually finished dinner and cleaning up early tonight. It's eight o'clock. I think I'm going to watch some TV, right? Or I think I'm just going to open up my work laptop and finish that email that I didn't get to send, right? In hindsight, you were doing work, you were doing something with that time. But at the time, if you find yourself with that free pocket, you need to be ready to start using it for what you really want to do in life for these side projects. And that's what day two was about. What are you going to do when the free time presents itself so that you don't end up browsing Facebook feeds, right? So day three is about that time that you're actively doing something, but you could be using to learn, to be inspired, to um, learn from other people who have been there. So these are the times that you spend commuting. These are the times you spend in the shower. This is the time you spend uh, doing dishes. This is the time you spend while you're cleaning up. Is the time you spend while making breakfast, while having breakfast, while having lunch. These are times that you're actively doing something with your hands, but your brain is not being used. These are the times you put on headphones and you learn. And there's a million ways to do this. So what I wanted to cover today was a few ways that you should have lined up in order to do this, all right? Way number one is by using YouTube. That's the easiest thing because everybody knows how to use YouTube, right? So I want you to go there and Google TED Talks. I want you to go, but not the entertainment ones, like the ones that would inspire you, right? Anything that will inspire you to make it to the next level, those are the tech talks I want you to look for. I want you to go on, on YouTube and find uh, Tony Robbins um, money meditations, right? I want you to find like, I, I think he calls them incantations, right? Incantations? Yeah, incantations. It's like his version of affirmations. It's things that he tells you that kind of start to get into your brain to reprogram it 
about money, to reprogram it about success. This is inspiration that you really need in order to succeed, succeed in whatever you do. It's not just a matter of strategy and tasks and step-by-steps and the technical part. It's not about all of that. You need the inspiration, not just the motivation. You need the inspiration. So YouTube is the easiest place to go. If you have, by the way, it's just a, a little tip, and Google is not paying me for this. Um, if you pay YouTube Red, which is their paid premium version, you can actually like turn on the video on your phone and turn off your phone screen, and it will keep playing as if it was just an audio, as if it was just a music device. There's a tip that like I didn't really find a reason to buy YouTube Red. I mean, I think my husband bought it for his own reasons and I ended up using it. I'm like, well, it's nice that I don't get ads, but really what sold me on continuing to upgrade the, or to continue to renew the subscription was the fact that I could listen to things and turn off my screen. I didn't have to like be careful that I wasn't touching the screen. It didn't jump when it was in my pocket, uh, when my phone, uh, you know, it, it dimmed the screen, it would go away. Like I didn't, anyway, I didn't have to worry about that. So YouTube is the first place to go. Second place, we're gonna go a little bit deeper and deeper. Second place that you might have heard of is Amazon Audiobooks, right? It's called Audible, Amazon bought Audible. So Audible is your Amazon account and you can buy credits towards books, towards audiobooks, all right? So if you have a subscription, Audible will give you one credit for free every month, which means that at least you could download an audiobook like one a month for whatever the subscription is, which is $14.95. So you pay $14.95 and you get one book a month, right? And you can buy more books. Um, so what you do is you put on your headphones, you turn on the, uh, the Bluetooth on your car, and then you listen to this stuff. Now, I really am not giving you these tips so that you can read the latest Tom Clancy novel. That's not what I'm telling you to do. We're going after mind food. And these are things, you know, this is divided into two things, inspiration or strategy. All right. So I actually have a few influencers that you should be following either through podcasts or YouTube or whatever it is. And I'll tell you what they are at the end to get you started, to give you some suggestions. And the more people you follow, the more you're going to hear who they're interviewing and then follow them and then follow them and then follow them. So that's how your list of podcasts and list of audiobooks start growing is when you hear other people talking about another book, right? Or another podcast. So, okay. So we talked about audiobooks. Look for inspiration, look for strategy, all right? Spend that time learning something new, something that you can use for your new business, all right? And the third one, which is the final one, is podcast. There's a lot of people who don't listen to podcasts, so they don't think that podcast is a big thing for the simple fact that they don't listen to podcasts. But guess what? Podcast is the fastest growing medium for consuming information, all right? That's like... Even the shows, I just mentioned Rachel Maddow, uh, MSNBC just turned their shows into podcasts. So I can actually listen to Rachel Maddow on the go. And people do this. You're like, well, why don't they just watch it on their TV? People do this because it's practical because they turn it on in the car and they turn it on in their commute and they turn it on in the shower, right? And I keep saying the shower and I'm serious. Like I bought a Bluetooth speaker for my shower that has you know, this suction cup. You put it on the, uh, you put it on the shower and you can listen to stuff while you're in the shower. The biggest trick for me was to try to get my husband to not interrupt me every time I'm taking a shower because he, he has a question about the baby, right? I had to like very lovingly tell him, can you please leave me alone for 20 minutes of my day while I'm taking a shower, please? That was the hardest part. Getting the podcast set up was always easy. So every time I'm in the shower, I'm listening to something, all right? So podcasts. So what do you do? If you have an Android phone, I do have a podcast a podcast application that I recommend. It's free to use. You can pay if you don't want the ads. They call it a donation, you know. Um, so they have a donate version, and it's called Podcast Addict, and that's my favorite podcasting app because you can actually literally customize everything in that app. There's nothing you can't customize. So podcast app. Uh, podcast addict you go and install it if you are on an iphone your default podcasting app is itunes you should already have it it's just a matter of going there and looking up the podcasts so 
To recap, for Android, get Podcast Addict. For, I, for iPhone, you should already have iTunes. So all you have to do is just look up the podcast, download it, and listen to it. It's like a radio show. Hi, Caroline. It's nice to see you here. Uh, so yeah, so if you don't listen to podcasts, that's what it is. It's just like a radio show. It's just you're listening to radio shows on your phone. Uh, podcasts are amazing because you can actually follow people who are going to teach you things, who are going to teach you strategy, who are going to show you what entrepreneurial world is like. And I do have a few suggestions for you. Okay, so what did we talk about? Find that time when your brain is not busy, all right? And use it to consume this information, this mind food, inspiration or strategy. So why don't I give you a few ones to like get started on, all right? So let's see, who should you be listening to? Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of recommendations. If you want to go the YouTube route because you already know how to use it because it's there, if you have YouTube read even better because you can turn off your screen and just listen to it as if it was a podcast. I would recommend Marie Forleo, and that's M-A-R-I-E, last name Forleo. It's like for Leo, F-O-R-L-E-O, Marie Forleo. She is the queen of life advice and business advice, all right? She was a life coach who created an empire. She's been, she was, she's like Oprah's best friend. Like she was featured in Oprah's, um, Soul Sunday, I believe that is called, and that she's been featured by Tony Robbins. And she's, you know, she is the top of her game. Everybody who is anybody in the coaching world knows who Marie Forleo is. And that's who you listen to for tidbits, all right? She will tell you, like, how about how to be more productive in your life. Um, and then she starts to get into a little bit more, like, business advice, all right? But she does, she's not really much of strategy. It's more about productivity. So you want to listen to her. You want to know who she is. Next, let's talk about, um, so as for YouTube, also I told you about Tony Robbins' incantations. You should look that up too. Um, he has a lot of stuff where you just listen to him speak and just kind of gets into your brain to get basically affirmations of things that you can do so that you can reprogram your brain to believe that you can do these things. So that's another YouTube one. I don't spend a lot of time there, but they exist. The next one down is audiobooks, all right? You guys, just find <laughs> good audiobooks to listen to and i want you to start with one that is super important is by napoleon hill napoleon hill and it is called outwitting the devil i just listened to it on audiobook and it was amazing and that is really going to get you to understand how your mind works and how you can break through barriers so that you can get done what it is that you want to get done so you can succeed in life outwitting the devil is basically a long form interview with the devil by napoleon hill and how the devil is trying to keep you down and keep you um, not thinking that you can actually do better in life he wants to keep you down and he explains everything the devil explains how he does it it's an amazing read uh, or listen so that's one that i would recommend that you really start with um, another book is Jen Sincero's book called You Are a Badass at Making Money. Um, she also had the prequel is You Are a Badass. And a lot of people have found it very insightful. Um, I'm more for, I want you to like really fix your own internal issues with money because if you're going to be selling something, you have to believe that you deserve it and you have to believe that what you're offering is something super valuable that people would need to pay for. So You Are a Badass at Making Money is a staple, is something you should definitely look into. And the author is Jen Sincero. And that's spelled like Sincero in Spanish, S-I-N-C-E-R-O, but hers is Italian. That's why it's Sincero instead. Um, so that's an, a, like a staple that you should definitely read. Um, as for podcasts, I have a couple of recommendations. One for inspiration right for you believing that you can actually do this i really recommend that people listen to manifestation babe by katherine zanchina she was my introduction into what manifestation is and i recommend that you start from episode one because the first 21 episodes are the manifestation challenge then i want you to jump to another episode and i i i, I forget the episode number exactly but it's the one that she calls the millionaire episode 
or the million dollar episode. Um, it's somewhere in the 40s, I believe. So find that episode and listen to it because she explains how she, at 25 years old, made a million dollar business from scratch. She explains that, and I'm telling you, if you're anything like me, you're going to get fired up. Manifestation Babe, episode 47. Start from the beginning so that you start understanding what manifestation is and how it represents, uh, how it manifests itself into your life, how you, how you have more control over your life and over your outcome than you think, all right? And how your own mindset may be bringing you down. So that challenge to me was very enlightening, the first 21 episodes. And then episode 47, because I, I love studying her because she's an amazing case study for a very successful business that started from nothing. Um, and she did that in a couple of years. You guys, it's pretty impressive. So that's for podcast for mindset. Podcast for strategy, I recommend um, Lauren Elise Love. She has the badass babe Badass Business Babe podcast. And she gets into a lot of strategy. And the MVP episode, I'm going to tell you what it is. Episode number 38. In episode 38, she actually walks you through how to have a sales conversation. So if you're going to go into your own business, one of the first ways that you're going to start making money is by selling a service one-on-one -on -one so that you can start building your you know, your money pile a little bit before you get into group, uh, into group help or into online courses or into all that. You really have to start with understanding specific customers. So you start with one-on-one -on -one coaching and she tells you right there how to enroll someone in a program. Episode 38 of the Badass Business Baby. And she has gold in here in this episode, in this entire podcast about strategy that you don't want to miss. Another podcast you should definitely be following is mine. Did you think I was not going to tell you about my podcast? It's mine. It's the Corporate Trailblazers with Ina Coveney. And what I talk about is all the things that you need to get like screwed on straight in your mind in order to have a successful business in the long run. All right, because this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So I tell you about all of those things that you need to know and how you need to think about everything in order for you to be successful in the long run. Does that make sense? It's a great show. I'm just going to say that. I love my episodes. I like, you know, people tell you that they hate listening to themselves or they hate watching themselves. I'm like, no, I, I actually like love what I do. And I, I, I love, you know, watching and listening to the stuff that I say. I'm like, I'm, I'm listening to myself. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that sounds right. So like, I just like enjoy. So, um, so I'm, I'm sure that other people would too. So if you're listening to this on the podcast, you already know because you're already here. So that's what I have for you in terms of advice for where to start with these things inspiration and strategy you need both of them all right so make sure that whatever you listen to is not just whatever novel you've been meaning to read make sure that it's business related make sure that it's inspiration related so that it can propel you to take the next action because something that i preach all the time is that whenever i take action inspiration came first it's not like oh i should really do that let me find time in my schedule. That's boring. That that doesn't s s sit well with me because I end up tantruming against myself. I'm like, well, no, mm, I don't want to. And I'm not going to open up because I'm an adult and I don't need to do whatever you say. Like, that's my attitude whenever I try to schedule something, right? So I need the inspiration. I need to believe that I'm doing it because I really want to. So inspiration comes first and then the time just comes because... I'm going to tantrum against myself and say, I'm not going to stop doing it just because you tell me that I don't have time. I just find the time and I just do it. So inspiration is super important. Don't just focus on strategy. Get the inspiration and the mindset stuff. Um, and I think that is basically what I had for you. So in terms of an assignment for you, I'm going to look up my notes. All right. First of all, I do need to, let, to tell you that a great investment would be a wireless had a wireless headset, all right, so that you can listen to your podcast and listen to everything while you're doing dishes, while your hands are otherwise occupied. So a Bluetooth wireless headset and um, a shower speaker, a Bluetooth shower speaker. So you can just play your shows while in your shower. Great investments and they don't have to be prohibitively expensive. So what is your assignment for today? As always, I want you to go back to the Facebook group. I want you to use the hashtag time, hashtag time, and come and tell us. Who are you going to start following? 
all right? Which podcasts have you subscribed to and what audiobooks you're going to read next. And I want you to start doing it like now. I want you to download the app. I want you to find these podcasts and I want you to start listening exactly the podcast episodes that I told you. All right. And my podcast start from the beginning. It's all gold. It's all wonderful. So uh, that's basically what I had for you. Come back to the Facebook group. Tell me what you're going to start listening to and when you're going to buy those headphones and when you're going to buy that shower speaker. That's very important. And um, yeah, come back and tell me what you end up following. That's the end of day three. So um, as a side note, my son was sick, which means that I started this live a little bit late. My son is sick, so I've been hearing him as I'm recording this downstairs with my husband. So I need to go and relieve him because this is what life as an entrepreneur is. It doesn't stop. I can't stop one thing and stop the other thing. I need to do everything at once. So thank goodness for... Uh, good partners who take the sick baby at 9.30 at night while I am doing this. So support is, and actually this is a great note to end in, because support is so important, guys. Doing this by yourself, if you think you can do this by yourself, you're delusional. You cannot do this by yourself. You need help from people who love you, from people who can support you, take whatever you can get. And that's what day four tomorrow is going to be about. How do you ask for support and what kind of support you need? So I have a couple of suggestions for you and I want you to actually do it. This is a hands-on challenge. You're supposed to be doing these things now. This is not suggestions for next week. You do this now. So tomorrow we'll tackle asking for support and asking for help. All right, that's what I had for you. Thank you guys so much for listening and I will catch you on day four in the next episode. Bye guys.